So as a lot of you guys know, I'm really into cargo bikes. I'm excited about them. We carry a lot of cargo bikes in both of our shops. And today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite cargo bikes, or at least the ones that I'm most excited about for 2020. And, you know, I thought about it, like, am I gonna make this like top 10 list? I think that a lot of those lists out there are really fake. They're just kind of people just pick together random stuff. And for me, we basically have like nine cargo bikes that we carry in our shop. For me, that's like, that's the top bikes. That's kind of what I wanna tell you guys about today. Cause I think this whole idea of like top 10 seems a little fake. So I'm just gonna say my actually top nine, which that's just what I came to. So this list is not gonna be in some sort of ranked order in a very scientific way. I'm just doing it in alphabetical order. I figure that's simpler, I'm not really one to play favorites. I think that different bikes serve different needs. I will say there's certain criteria which the bikes have met in order to even meet this list. One of the things is that I carry them in my shop and for anything that I do carry in my shop, Propel it has to meet all this criteria of being high quality, being supported by the manufacturer and us feel like good that, you know, putting this out there into the world, that this is a, a safe product and people are gonna find enjoyment with it. I'm just gonna go in alphabetical order. And uh, the one other thing I should say is that all these bikes can carry like over a hundred pounds. For me, that's kind of one of these criteria, which I would consider it more of a cargo bike. I mean, really in theory, any bicycle can be a cargo bike. You have a rack on it. You could put a basket on it. You could also add a trailer to it. So. To start off, I'm gonna talk about the first one in alphabetical order, although it's pretty high up there. It's the Benno Boost, and specifically the new Benno Boost for 2020. This bike has been updated. I recently did a video review of it, and I'm really excited. Benno is a super innovative guy. We're actually excited, gonna go out to his place next week and do a little video story with him, and I always enjoy talking with him. He's just so visionary and thinks like just outside the box. It, it's, some of you might not know, Benno is actually the founder of Electra Bicycles, which the Electra Townie is actually the most popular single bicycle sold in the US. So Benno, awesome guy. He created the Boost a couple years ago, and this is a big update this year. So it's got a new Bosch Performance Line speed motor. It's also available with some different motors. That's the one specifically that I'm really excited about. It's available in a standard frame and a low step frame. Some other updates for this year, now they have the ability to carry two Yep child seats on the back. The weight capacity is 130 pounds on that rear rack and some different accessories for this year. We got a, a front rack. It's just very versatile and a good looking bike overall. You know, nice fun colors. I really appreciate it when the manufacturer kind of experiments with that a little bit, especially if they put some thought and intention behind that. And, and Benno, you know, clearly does that because one of his concepts is that it's not just like the bike doesn't just have to be able to carry your cargo. You, you want to feel good riding it. You want to feel like this is something you're proud to own and, and be associated with. And uh, so just really smart and uh, I'm excited to be working with them. So the second bike I want to talk about is the Butchers and Bicycles MK1E. Now we've been working with this manufacturer for several years and we're one of their exclusive dealers in the US. It's a three wheel bike and it has two wheels up front, one in the back. And one of the things that's really unique about this trike is that it can lean. So most trikes, when you have three wheels, if you go around a turn, the bike can have a tendency to want to tip over. But one of the great things about the butchers and bicycles specifically is that when you turn and lean, it actually leans with you. So it creates a very stable environment for handling. And you can actually adjust that with different springs and adjust the preload on the springs and you can make it work specifically for you. This bike's really great for carrying two kids. Many people also use it to carry dogs, different things like that. It's got a nice door up front to get in and out of it. And it's available with some different drivetrains. One of the things I'm really excited about on this bike is it has a belt drive available with the Enviolo hub. And it's also available with a fully automatic shifting version. So that model is very popular. And a lot of people like that because you just don't have to worry about shifting the bike at all. You just ride it like a normal bike and, um, and the bike shifts for you. So 
Now, if you watch these videos regularly and I tell you that this next bike is my personal favorite bike, you probably know which one I'm talking about. And it's the Risa Mueller Load. Now, this bike is just really amazing. For me, I love it because it's full suspension. It's available in high speed, also available with a belt drive. And it just really has all these features that are very unique and not really found on many other bikes. And one of the great things for me, I find that I can ride this cargo bike and I don't feel like I'm riding this like overly cumbersome bike, even though it is pretty large. I mean, I usually ride the Load 60, which is the shorter version, but it's also available in the Load 75, which is a bit longer and great if you wanted to carry up to three kids in the front carrier. Now the Load 60, is made to be able to carry up to two kids, but you can also even put a full-size adult in there. And actually, quite commonly, that's the bike that I use for filming when I film with Terror. So I put Terror in the front of the bike and we ride around and, um, you know, it's, it's really stable. I find I'm able to handle the bike really well. So I guess there's a variety of reasons why I really like that bike. That's some of them. And it happens to be one of our more popular bikes in the shop. So I know that I said I'm not really gonna play favorites, but you know, that one, it's kind of difficult to hide. If you ask me my favorite bike in the shop, it's generally gonna be that bike. But let's get into some of the next ones. All right, so since we're going in alphabetical order, the next bike on my list is the Risa Mueller Multicharger. This bike's really great. It's based on one of Risa Mueller's most popular models, the Charger, but it just got an extended rear end and slightly smaller wheels than you'll normally find on the Charger. The Charger has 27.5 inch wheels, whereas the Multi-Charger has 26 inch wheels. They do this to enable the rear end of the frame to be extended out to be able to carry a bit more cargo. Now this bike has 120 pound load capacity on the rear rack, and now they've added some different options and additional accessories for this year, which is really great. So they now have this new safety bar system to mount to the top of the rack, which enables you to put a couple of kids inside there, or if you want, you can put the child seats inside there mounted to the rack and just gives you a little bit extra protection. But it still works great with just the standard little stoker handlebars, as well as the pegs that mount down by the axles. Beyond that, now it does also have this option to put these running boards. And with those running boards, they have built in this ability to tow a bike, which I find to be really creative. Some other new updates for 2020 on the Multi-Charger, it's now available with a roll-off hub, and it's available in two drive chains that are available with the belt drive, the roll-off hub, as well as the Enviolo hub. Now, this bike, along with most recent Mueller bikes, offer you all sorts of different options. You can get a different motor system, you can get a different drivetrain, different colors, sizes, all these things. Well, actually, the multi-charger comes in one size, but there's two different frame styles. They have the mixed frame and the standard frame. And one of the great things about the standard frame style is it has the ability to add on a second battery. So with that, you have up to 1,000 watt hours of battery power. And some of the other cargo bikes have that option as well. So something to consider if you really want that very long range. But I guess really when you have a cargo bike, it's not too difficult to carry the extra cargo of a five or six pound battery. So something to consider, but it's nice to have it on board if, if you need that regularly. And I guess we're about halfway through the list now. This is the Risa Mueller Paxter. The Paxter is available in a variety of different sizes, it's starting at the Paxter 40, which has a 40 centimeter bed with a bunch of different configurations to carry a single child, or if you wanted to just carry cargo, you have all sorts of different options there. Now, similar to all Risa Mueller bikes, as I mentioned before, you have the option of different motor systems, different drivetrains, and colors on this particular model. So really quite nice. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between the Load and the Paxter? And mainly that difference between those two is the suspension. So the Paxter does not have rear suspension where the Load does. Now the other thing about the Paxter, it's available in a 60 centimeter size as well as the 80 centimeter size. Now that 80 centimeter size is a bit larger than the Load 75 and the box is wider as well. So if you really want the maximum cargo carrying capacity and you're looking at a recent Mueller bike, that's a good way to go. But from my personal preference, I'm a real big fan of full suspension as you might have heard that already. 
but uh, but the Packster is still a great bike. So the next bike I'm going to call out is the Turn GSD. Now this bike has been one of our most popular bikes in the shop, and actually it's one of the more affordable cargo bikes overall, based on its capabilities and the overall cost. I mean, it's four thousand dollars for the base model, the S10, and it's just a very capable bike. I mean, it can carry up to 200 pounds, all sorts of adaptations to that bike. You can do different rack setups in the back, um, you know, add-ons to the rack. They have the clubhouse, they have the sidekick bars. Now they have different accessories coming out. And you can do everything from carrying two kids to carrying a full-size adult. And I think a lot of people really like that versatility. Some other things that are particularly notable about that bike is the compact size. So although it has all this cargo carrying capabilities, it's still a very compact bike and not much longer than a traditional bicycle. So this is really helpful if you wanted to put it on a standard car rack or maybe transport it inside your car or some people we know actually even take it inside the elevator. And one of the nice details is that you can actually stand it up on its rear end. So you hold the handlebars, pull it up and you can stand it up that way. Now, I mentioned the S10. It's also available in a version called the S00. So that's the GSD S00. And the double zero kind of stands for this affinity sign. And what that means is it has the Enviolo drivetrain. And it's a continually variable transmission with effectively an infinite range of gears because there's no specific indexes. A lot of people really like that. And it's pretty popular on cargo bikes. I'd say if you're looking for a cargo bike that's really easy to use, consider getting one with the Enviolo drivetrain. And Enviolo now actually makes a drivetrain specifically for cargo bikes, and you're going to find that on most of the cargo bikes that we're talking about today. So the next bike I'm going to talk about is considered a cargo bike, but it's really just an amazing all-round bike, and it's called the Turn HSD. This bike is new for 2020 and it's available in several different versions. This bike, it's kind of similar to the GSD, but it's a little bit lighter weight. It can't carry as much weight and it's a bit more affordable. It starts at $3,200. So this actually happens to be the least expensive cargo bike on this list. The HSD is available in three different versions. There's the P9, which is the derailleur version, which just has a normal chain and derailleur, which you might be used to on most standard bicycles. It's also available in a version called the S8i. The S8i has a Shimano eight-speed internal hub along with the belt drive, which many people really appreciate. And you only have to pay a little bit more from the P9 to the S8i to get that extra feature. Now having a belt drive is really great because it keeps the bike very low maintenance and it's really easy to use. But really the easiest version to use of the HSD is called the S Plus. The S Plus has a fully automatic Enviolo transmission and with that you actually don't have to shift the bike at all. And I think that this is really nice and a lot of people are really going to appreciate this. And I'm excited about the opportunity for this bike to get more people into biking, especially if you might need to also carry some cargo. Last thing I want to mention about the HSD is the ability to fit riders of all different rider heights. It's very adjustable, and that's really the case with a lot of these cargo bikes, so it's important to consider that. So the next bike I'm going to talk about is the Urban Arrow family. Now we actually recently got a chance to visit Amsterdam and these things are all over the place there. It's really quite amazing. And their bikes are actually built just outside of Amsterdam, which is really cool. And we got to check out their factory and did a little video story about the company, which you might want to check out as well. Now the Urban Arrow family is really just a solid bike to carry kids around or carry an adult or just carry all sorts of stuff. I mean, one of the things that you see there in Amsterdam quite a bit as well is these bikes being used for commercial purposes. And I think that that's overall, I know that I've been talking a lot about carrying kids, but the commercial application is really growing and getting pretty big for electric cargo bikes. There's many big companies that are involved in this, everybody from UPS to DHL to FedEx and Amazon. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of that for years to come. The Urban Arrow is a very versatile bike, but it really started with the family. And 
they really helped to define this category in a lot of ways. They've been doing this for a while and they do a great job. The bike is very comfortable to ride. It's not quite as sporty as say like the Risa Mueller Load, but it's it's good for cruising around town and it's, it's got a very upright Dutch style position, which many people really like. Very easy to, you know, navigate and, and see around with it. And I find that somebody just hopping on that bike with very little experience, they can generally operate it with little trouble. Now, the thing I should note is I didn't mention this before, but when thinking about a cargo bike, a lot of times you might think about, you know, you have this ability to have cargo in the back of the bike or in the front of the bike. Um, many people, myself included, tend to prefer to have it in the front, but having it in the back has its advantages as well. Having your kids in the front, you can have an easier time to see them. Um, and a lot of times handling the bike can be a bit easier, especially with some of the bikes where the cargo is a bit lower. The Urban Arrow has these benches where it's are a little bit on the higher side, so it's not quite as low, but the bike still handles really well. Now, the Urban Arrow family is also available in a shorter version, it's called the Shorty. Now, I'm not specifically calling this out on my list, although I think that it's a great bike. The family has historically been the more popular bike in our shop. Now, you can't talk about cargo bikes in the U.S. without mentioning ExtraCycle. Now, they were one of the originators of the long tail. They started with just an add-on kit, but since then, they've been really focused on creating full-size, built, from the ground up, long tail bikes. Now, they started with the bike called the Edge Runner, and the Edge Runner is still in existence today, but they have the Edge Runner Classic and the E Swoop. I'm specifically going to focus on those. They do have another model called the E Stoker, which 24 inch wheels front and rear, as well as the RFA. But from our side, what we found is that the E Swoop and the Classic are really the most popular models. Extra Cycle recently released a model called the E Stoker, which is 24 inch wheels front and rear, as well as a model called the RFA, which is known for its adjustable dropouts, a very unique setup. But really, the most popular bike for us is called the E Swoop. It's also available with the E Classic, and that's the based on the original Edge Runner, which was Extra Cycle's really main entry into electric complete cargo bike. So they have the E Swoop, which I'd specifically focus on. That's really the most popular setup for us. Really easy to get on and off of very versatile so it's easy to share between different rider heights and it's really great for carrying kids or just managing all sorts of cargo. It's a 20 inch wheel in the rear and 26 inch wheel in the front. And another great thing about Extra Cycle, since they've been doing this for a while, the accessories that are available for the bikes are really mature so they have all sorts of different options. They have the bars that go around the top which is called the hoopty. They can easily carry two kids on the rear in either inside of the seats or if the, you're not using a child seat like a Yep or something like that, you can even put more than two kids inside of that hoopty style setup. They've added some other features like the snack bars, which just basically is kind of like the hoopty, but it's opened up. So that's a really nice option. And all sorts of different bags, the front rack, available now with different motor systems. So you can get the high torque motor or the high speed motor. You can get a single battery, dual battery, just loads of options, as I said. So I think, you know, with that, you have all sorts of ways to go when you want to look at a cargo bike. This list is by no means exhaustive. You know, these are the bikes that we carry in our shop. There are other good cargo bikes out there, but I found that these ones I really feel are the best. I mean, that's why I choose to carry them in my store. But there's other good ones out there as well. If you have questions about other bikes and you know you might be unsure, feel free to reach out to us. I mean, certainly gonna have the most expertise on the bikes that we actually carry, but I'm usually familiar with bikes that we don't carry as well. And there might be a good reason why we're not specifically offering the cargo bike that you might be thinking of. So, you know, just feel free to reach out. If you have experience with these bikes or other bikes, leave them in the comments. You know, I'm always, happy to take in new information and you know just we're all learning in this thing the reality is this industry is relatively new 
Some of the products are proven and they work really well, but many of them are not. So I guess generally speaking, I'm a bit risk adverse when I think about the products that we're offering because I really want people to be safe and I want them to have a good experience and I want to make sure that I can support the product long term. We actually did a video talking about this because that's one thing you might find. There's a lot of these exciting products that are being launched into the market, but for me, I see them and a lot of times I see these red flags where I don't really feel confident that these companies are actually going to support their products long term. So another thing to think about, I don't want to overwhelm you with that, but you know, if you have any questions, as I said, just reach out, always happy to help and look forward to seeing you soon. All right.